All right, next we're gonna install the fan. It's uh, the i5 chip, or all Intel processors, and AMD, I think, do uh, as well, uh, come with their own fan uh, and heat sink. Uh, this is the fan that it comes with. A pretty good size fan. It's a, you know, three inch fan. Pretty solid, it already has the thermal paste, it looks like, on there. But, you know, if you put a little bit more on, never hurts. This is really easy to put on. You just pretty much lay it in there and then push these little knobs down and it pops right in. It's super simple, but we're obviously not taking that route because this is the one that Intel gave us. And this is the one I'm using. So let's see. Uh, I, I mean, I can't even fit this one in a frame. It's, it's almost half the size of the motherboard. So I, when we're going to overclock this thing by a little bit. So uh, I'm a big air cooled type of, of fan. Go, go figure. I was looking for another word, but fan seems to be appropriate. This one is probably not going to cut it. Uh, but doesn't mean that this doesn't work well. It works perfectly fine if you're going to use the uh, the i5 2500K. I mean, one without the K. K means you can overclock it. Without the K, you cannot overclock it. Like I said, they work great. I've used them before. Um, they're great, uh, you know, but for sometimes uh, encoding and whatnot, you probably want a little bit faster processor. Uh, the i7 is a good uh, 2600K. is good because you can overclock it a little bit more. But I'm going to try the i5 because it's what I got right now. So, but uh, this one's might, might, it doesn't seem to fit so well. And I got like about 500 bracket parts here. So we got to figure out what fits and what doesn't fit. So I'm going to read some instructions and I'll be back. Okay. So I'm reading the instructions here. Um, I moved the motherboard to the side a little bit so I can have a little bit room to work. Um, they want us to take these fans off, which seems to be pretty easy. Just get in right in here. There's a little knob right here. Just pop it back. Pop that back. Take this out. So they want you to take these fans off so I can get more access to where everything fits. So let me keep, uh, popping this other fan off and, uh, get this thing on in no time well as you can see here I got both of the fans off and now it's just the heat sink looks like a big radiator uh, but it's just a bunch of air fans uh, and this big manifold looking header type thing uh, that's where it's gonna touch the i5 chip so I have to find a bracket for this uh, so I think this thing's gonna keep things pretty cool might be a little noisy but uh, I'm not really worried about the noise so much. I'd rather have something cool, uh, liquid cooling. Um, if you're not going to do it right, I think it's it, uh, it, it doesn't work as well, in my opinion. I'm sure people will fight me, but um, the cheap and expensive liquid coolings just don't cut it. You have to go for the gusto, and uh, you know it's just you know you're dealing with just way too much stuff. Uh, air cooling's good unless you want a really quiet system. Then you have to go and get a really good liquid cooling. If I find any links or whatnot on some good ones, I'll post them. Um, if not, uh, airs the way for us and uh, or for me, for that matter. So anyway, let's see if I can figure out which bracket goes on here so I can install it on that motherboard over there. Okay, it looks like it's pretty easy to install. Um, there's these two separate brackets here. Um, they go on each side one here and one here and they screw in and sandwich in from the other side um, you put the heat sink on and then you bridge it across with this and then this has snap springs and you screw it down it has a little tension so this is what's going to hold this um, uh, the Cooler Master uh, air heat sink I don't have the model number but I'll put it down at the bottom somewhere uh, so you'll be able to know which one I'm using. Uh, this is going to work out pretty well and uh, I think it's going to keep it really cool. So uh, let me uh, install this and uh, we'll go on to the next. 
All right, as I was going on to uh, step three, there is a bracket I'm going to use. Uh, this is going to go on the other side to support the motherboard so it doesn't flex. Um, it's going to work out really well. This thing's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Uh, it's, as I said, it's easy to install. You just got to read the directions. It, it doesn't take long at all. Um, you just want to lay this down. Uh, just be very careful. Uh, do not. One thing uh, I'd like to note: do not use a magnetized screwdriver. I know a lot of guys. I've seen a lot of guys do it. You know, they will magnets ha ha have a static charge and could ruin um, your motherboard or any other components. Uh, I know it's kind of a pain in the neck uh, to not use it, but you can use a. You can actually just. You know. As I drop it, you can actually use this kind of method when you're working with the motherboard. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but just kind of hold the tip, get it started, and then um, it's a lot easier. And you don't have to worry about the magnet or anything ruining your motherboard. So I know a lot of guys use it. They probably could say I'm wrong. I just like to be extra safe and not have any problems. Like I said, you just put the, the nut on there, hold it, and you can start the screw and it's a lot easier and safer too. Okay, I made a mistake. Uh, I'm not, you're not threading it down, you're actually threading the screw up. Um, just to note that you're going. All right, um, this is the bracket. It's gonna go right here. And there's another, this bracket, it's gonna go underneath size and sandwich it, and you're gonna screw the screw from the way up because these holes are threaded. I, I don't know the size of the screw off the top of my head, but you're actually gonna go from underneath the, or the back side of the motherboard with this bracket as like a big giant washer and support. So it's, you ain't bending this thing. I mean, this thing's strong. So it's gonna help with the, the, the weight and not help, and you know, it's going to help your motherboard not flex either because you don't want a flexing motherboard, especially, you know, if it gets hot in there um, and whatnot. So it's going to work out well. All right. It's not easy, but you got to almost hold the one side on. I'm not going to flip it over, but it's, it's a little difficult to put this thing on. Um, I don't recommend it for a lot of you newcomers, but <clears throat> it's definitely possible to do. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be worth worth its weight in gold. So, like I said, you add this this thing on the back to give support to the rest of the motherboard and the fan because the fan is it's huge. So, like I said, it's almost half the size of the motherboard. So, um, definitely worth it. I'm sure it's going to work great. Like I said, it might be a little bit more convenient for everybody to use the supplied fan that comes with the i5. So. All right, let me keep working. All right, so what I had to do to have these line up right here is I think I had to uh, just separate the one, the one closer so it's even. You just loosen this up. It's adjustable. So uh, just loosen it up, slide it across, and then you'll uh, fit it in these two holes here on the other side. You're good to go. We'll be ready to uh, slap this bad boy on and we'll move on to the next step. All right, you can see I mounted the bracket uh, right here, here, and this is the support bracket underneath. Uh, it's pretty heavy duty stuff. Like I said, the fan's huge. It needs the extra support. And uh, let's put this fan on and uh, move on to the next step again. All right, before we uh, install this heat sink, um, we got the brackets, the back plate, obviously you saw the other clip. Uh, there's a little sticker here, it says warning, peel this label. Obviously you wanna peel that off, put a little thermal paste here, a little thermal paste here, and then you're gonna sandwich the two and then slide the bracket underneath with the springs and mount it down. So it has these two little slots here too and there's two little pins right here. You can see right there, it slides right in there. Pop the fans on, and we're, we're on to the next step. 
It's that easy. So here's the uh, thermal paste. Cool, Cooling Master uh, is nice enough to give you some. Uh, like I said, top-notch company, great products, always love them. So you just break this thing open, spray a little bit, kind of mush the, put a little here, mush the two together, kind of move it around, and uh, it should be good. You know, you just don't want to have a, a direct bond because uh, the thermal paste will help um, the heat sink as well and uh, dissipate. The heat will actually dissipate better. Um, I would never recommend not putting this. You have to put thermal paste. So usually uh, every good company you buy these fans from and heat sink um, comes with this. So the Intel one actually comes with it already pretty on, but never hurts to just put a little bit more. But, you know, like I said, look at the, this tiny little fan and this is the, the monster. You can't even fit it in frame. Um, and this is doesn't even have the fans on it. So let's uh, let's add the thermal paste and we'll uh, we'll move on. Do a little video of this. There it is. It'll work its way to the outside. Don't overdo it, but uh, you don't want to have, you most definitely don't want to not have enough. So usually that'll spread out to the outside and we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. There should be plenty. About, I would say a dime size on each side should cover it. Um, if there, if it does sandwich out, wipe any excess off. You don't want to have this thermal paste all over the place. It's, you know, it's good for these, but no, not the other parts. All right, let's attach this. It's pretty easy. Um, this part is going out to the computer. So you want to have Cooler Master up. Here's the logo. You don't want that, you know, facing towards you. Kind of just like the way it is. Check out the thermal paste, make sure it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Maybe a little too much. Well, that's pretty good. That's it. I'll lay it right in there. Slide this piece right in, the springy piece. Attach it right there and screw it down. <clears throat> Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, let's get a little, little screwdriver in on that. Oh, sorry, supplied hex wrench that Cooler Master gives you. All right, it's attached. As you can see, there's the little spring clip on that side. And on that side right there where my thumb is pointing, it's solid as a rock. It ain't going anywhere. The board's not flexing. It's definitely heavy, um, but with this brace on the back, it should be perfectly fine. So let's add these fans and uh, keep on moving on.